review of the Faber-Castell Needed Eraser that comes with this awesome case. So the first time that I got this Needed Eraser, one of my students actually gifted it to me. And you would think that um, somebody couldn't geek out so much about an eraser, but when it's a Needed Eraser that comes with a case, I was blown away because my kneaded eraser, otherwise in my travel pencil case, gets stuck to everything. And if it's hot out, like it is here in Texas, uh, most of the time, <clears throat> my kneaded eraser winds up sticking to everything. The worst thing that it sticks to is my tough stuff eraser stick. And it gets in the grooves, it gets on the plastic, and I can't actually get it to come off. So when somebody gifted me with this eraser with a little case, I was like, oh my gosh, this is heaven because now I can contain it. It's not gonna goo everywhere. So the way that it comes is packaged in this little case. And I find that it's, you know, it's really cheap plastic, but it's pretty sturdy. <clears throat> the, um, the lid closes nice and tight. So sometimes you have to wrestle with it to get it off. And when you first open it up, it has a little plastic container around it. Now, the one thing that I um, don't love about this eraser quite as much is that it's a very greasy, um, malleable eraser. So I tend to use the Prismacolor kneaded erasers. I've used those for years. Um, and just because that's what was available to me in my local art store. Um, and this one is much softer. So in some ways it's nice. If you have arthritis in your hands, you might want to buy this one because it's a little bit softer. But in terms of using it with kids, this thing is gonna stick to um, your rug, your dog, your cat, <laughs> your kid's hair. It's gonna be more of a mess. So because of its soft um, movability and it's a little bit more greasy, it tends to be a little bit tackier um, and sticks to things more. So I'm gonna show you how I use it. Generally, I just tear off a piece and you can see it's really, really gooey. So because of that, it is a little bit harder to tear too. And then I usually just press and lift and you can see that um, whatever you've taken off the page is then on your eraser. It's called the kneaded eraser because you really do need to mix it in. And I find that this one does seem to pull a little bit more off than the other gummy erasers that I use. It also sticks under my nails a little bit more, so that kind of um, is a little bit irritating. But if you do have a project where you really need to get something um, pulled off, like a value project, this might be the eraser that you wanna go with because it's more tacky. So then you can kind of mush it back into its box and you're on your way. So this case is a little bit larger. Um, if you're traveling with a small pencil case, this might not fit in it. Um, but other than that, I think it's really handy to have the little case with it. So there you go. Let me know what your experience of this eraser is and, um, and send me some comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, LZM Studio, where I frequently release quick tips and all kinds of different ideas about drawing. Also check out my Facebook and my Instagram page. I like to show um, photographs of my artwork, of my students' artwork, and share funny stories from my students on those pages. And then check out my website, lzmstudio.com, where you're going to find more inspiration and um, full-length detailed tutorials.